Viliami Tuivai here, Coach V, with your Win Wednesday message. Our focus for the month is new beginnings, a new way of everyday living, a newness within you to meet the new year in 2017 to fully experience all of the biggest game on the planet called life. To progress, to get better, to become the best version of yourself and experience life to the full. And the topic for today is Win Wednesday, so that you, I, me, and we will have every opportunity to win at this thing called life is emotional maturity. The directing and leading of one's emotions to passionately feel progress of purpose. Again, the directing and leading, emotional maturity, the directing and leading of one's emotions to passionately feel progress of purpose. Versus allowing your emotions to lead and direct you and hijack your mentality, your feelings, your emotion, so that you no longer act according to your purpose, your achievement, your goals, dreams, hopes, and aspirations, and your winning on this Win Wednesday. When the negatives happen, so three things. When the negatives happen to you, what is your emotional response so that you show that you have emotional maturity, EM. One, in terms of the negatives, during the failure, during the setbacks, during uh, the adversity, during the loss, during the embarrassments, where now the emotion tells us, man, sadness, anxiety, sometimes fear, anger. I never want to try this again. Now, this emotion holds us captive to inactivity that we no longer want to do that again. But in sports and in life and in business and in leadership, those emotions must be directed and led to where, you know what? This experience may hurt, but it will help me if I can learn the life lesson it is that this circumstance now affords to me to learn. And really, it is not what happens to us in terms of our emotions and our attitude, but how it is that we respond to this negativity. That I will learn the lesson, I'm gonna get back on the horse, I'm gonna play the next play, I'm gonna pick up the phone on this sales call when I just got chewed out by somebody telling me never to call me again, that when you face that failure, you keep moving forward. That's why it's called directing and leading your emotions, not allowing your emotions to lead you. Where when you're younger, you don't have the emotional maturity to do that because that's where it is that depression comes in, that inactivity comes in, that you start to see your value as you look in the mirror as being not the value that you're worth, but according to what it is that the circumstances or the loss that just occurred, that that is now your value. No, you're a winner. You can win, you can progress, and you can succeed and you can achieve. But that is how it is that you direct and lead that in the negative times. Now in the thrill. So there's the negative times, two is the thrill. When you succeed and you make a great play, you get a great account, you make a lot of money, that now you may lose focus as making sure that you follow through to the basic fundamentals to finish and fully win. That you play the next play, you make the next call, you get to the next meeting, you make sure you follow through on the processes, on the fundamental needs and demands by your achievement to succeed. Don't lose focus because that's what the thrill does where the emotion of the thrill or playing a video game or doing something where you'd rather be doing that because of the thrill versus what needs to be done. Or just because you made a great play in a football game, basketball game, or had a great performance that now you lose sight and you don't come back to the basic fundamentals and keep playing the next play until you fully finish and win. And if you lose, that you learn the lesson and then you try it again and make it better again. To direct and lead your emotions, to passionately feel the progress of your purpose, of your achievement, of your success, and on this Win Wednesday to win. And lastly, so we had, okay, how do you direct and lead during negative times, 
right? How it is that the thrill and the refocus back that though you've achieved and succeeded to refocus and make sure that you get everything done that really needs to be done to maximize the next opportunities. And now is that you don't quit. And on this win Wednesday, I would be remiss to not mention a USC Penn State Rose Bowl that was absolutely thrilling. One team had to lose, but USC ended up coming out on top. Tied 49 to 49 with the last field goal. I mean, I'm a defensive guy, but to see all those touchdowns, turnovers, and then coming down to the last seconds of the game and winning, that's what we're talking about, about emotional maturity. Directing your emotions. Directing and leading your emotions to passionately feel your progress or purpose to your achievement until you end. And yep, sometimes you lose, but both of those programs have used this to get to where it is that they are. And what a thrilling and amazing game. And then right after that, all of the coaches and the players and, you know, fight on nation of USC is, okay, now, how do we direct all of this and lead all of this to passionately feel our progress of purpose of what the next step is after a great win? Because they did not quit. And there's a poem that I love that I've said over and over and over and again, and we need to be reminded in this new beginnings this. When things go wrong as they most times will. When the road you're trudging seems all uphill. When the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile. But you have to sigh when life is pressing you down a bit. Rest if you must, but don't you quit. Because life is weird with its twists and its turns, as every one of us sometimes learns that many a person see they turned about when they might have won. When Wednesday, had they stuck it out. But so you see, the struggler, he or she has often given up when they might have captured the victor's cup. When Wednesday, but they did not learn until the night came down how close they were to the golden crown. Because you see, success is failure turned inside out and the silver tint and this thing called doubt. And you never can tell how close you are because it may be right here when it seems so far. But stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Come hell or high water until hell freezes over. And if we end up froze over in hell that we keep fighting, that is the emotional direction and leading of your emotions to passionately feel your progress of purpose to achieve. And you saw it with USC. And so did Penn State. Neither of those teams quit. It just hit the end time on the game clock. That is your Win Wednesday message by your boy, Coach V. Call me Coach V. One love, mad respect, emotional maturity, three things in emotional maturity. Remember now, in the bad times, in the thrill of the good times, and don't ever, ever quit. Live it. Peace.